of wolves so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves amen hallelujah amen. amen amen so where we have read jesus said i am sending you cheso are ke ho romela i am sending you ke ho romela but you see the place that he says i'm sending you because it is full of wolves. It is full of wolves. Hallelujah. Amen. I love the way the message translation puts it. It says you will be like a sheep that will be running in the flocks of, of wolves. Jesus. And the message translation on the first verse, on the first part. It says the place, it says the assignment that I give to you is hazardous. Hey, because the word it comes from the word of hazard. Those who are driving cars they can understand me better. Amen. When a car it is doing hazard. hazard. For you who is behind. It's telling you to be careful. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Be careful. So it the message today is the place which I'm sending you is hazardous. And he's gives you a solution. He says, therefore, are be wise as serpents, are above and as harmless as doves, are obe, obe innocent jackaliba. Hallelujah. Amen. Be wise. You know, that that verse, you, that part, you need to pay much attention to it. Because he doesn't say I will make you wise. He said you be. Do you know what it means? God has given you that responsibility. For you to make for you to take the word of God and make yourself wise through the word of God. There is a scripture. Psalm 119 verse 1. He said, How can a young man make his ways pure? How can a young man? How can a young man? To be pure. And it was a question. And then he later answered it. And he said, when you obey the word of God and when you keep his commands, your ways shall be pure. The reason why, why he chose a young man in this verse is because there are many temptations for them. 
And the scripture says, if you want to keep your ways pure, the Bible. As long as you spend 10 hours on water, as long as long as as long as and you don't have time for the wait. The enemy will definitely deceive you. Wolves will de- devour you. Because let me tell you about this wolves. They're hungry. Yo, this They are hungry. Even if they can just hear a smell of a sheep. They will, be, they will be acting like they're confused. They will be hunting as if like they're crazy. As long as, as long as they can just hear that smell, as long as they are in the corner, you will see the level of desperation. But at some point, you don't know how it can meet and meet and meet and destroy the entire. I am sending you. Yeah, Romela. Because some of you may not understand the seriousness of this music. Amen. Until your boss tells you. Your boss at work tells you. That if you don't sleep with me. That is when you see that this thing is serious. Because the reason why the enemy will take you out of all the workers. It's because you came glory. And he wants to take it away from you. I am sending you in the midst of wolves. You see, and let me tell you something about these wolves. They, they wore a suit like me. Is it the one who is it? Those wolves, they wore suits like me. So if you think they will come looking like dangerous people, you are wrong. Come with ties. Come with ties. And even you, before you, they tell you he's a man of God, you know how this one is a man of God. Look, not knowing that sometimes some of those people they are Do you know that Satan is a preacher? And now, what's about what is Yabula Siki Murari now? Read your Bible in the book of Luke, chapter 4, when Jesus came to have an encounter with Satan. The, the Bible, when, when Satan met with Jesus, check how many scriptures Satan quoted for Jesus. Because some of you, the enemy knows how to catch you. He knows you don't know scriptures, so you'll come with scriptures. But the problem when he came to Jesus. You notice that this one knows the scriptures. And that is how Jesus escaped. He said, turn this bread, turn this stone into bread so that you may eat. Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that comes out of the mouth of God. It was a battle of scriptures. Jesus was quoting, Satan was quoting. So if Satan comes with scriptures and finds out that you don't know them, he will devour you. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Amen. 
He said, he, he's, he is like a lion that is hungry. Seeking whom he may devour. You see, you don't understand it. When Satan comes like a lion, the Bible is trying to tell you about his skills. Because the reason why a lion is called the king of the jungle it's because of his ability to hunt Satan is not a lion no he is very weak he, he, he is nothing but I'm still coming to that point because you will discover that there are areas where Satan is very powerful I'm not sure if you are listening to me. When it comes to deception, Satan is very skillful and very shrewd. Extremely dangerous. He found Adam and Eve in the spiritual state. A state without sin, wearing a body of gold. Satan entered and said, Is it the really Lord told you not to do these things? Satan In that level of glory, he deceived them. Satan, when he comes to attack you, he doesn't care about your level in the spirit. Even in heaven, he deceived angels and went down with them. In the presence of God, he deceived angels in the midst of his where the God was sitting on the throne. Satan entered and deceived them. That's to tell you how shrewd he, he is and powerful he is when it comes to deception. That is why when it comes to deception, hey, when it comes to deception, don't undermine Satan. He is very dangerous. Okay. Very Let me share this story. Or let me share this one. There was, there was, I was speaking to one sister. One man of God. She said she was in Mamilodi. And she was saying this was, she went to this church. And then the sister, there was one sister who invited her and said, Mighty things are happening in our church. Mighty things, good things are happening in our church. Please come. Hallelujah. Amen. So the pastor told the sister that we have a fasting. Oh, okay. We, you know, it was not fasting. It was not fasting. It was not prayer. Amen. Amen. And they said they will be praying at the mountain. So the woman of God said, Okay, I will come. So when she came to the mountain, the first thing that surprised her. She didn't see other Christians. Amen. Amen. She said when she was at the beginning of the mountain to climb the mountain, the Holy Spirit said to her, pick up stones. <laughs> she did not understand what it means, but she obeyed. He said, today you will be like David facing Goliath. Today you will be like David facing Goliath. The sister went, she didn't understand these things. So when they got at the top of the mountain, she said the pastor started to undress her. 
she said she was strange power that came on me i couldn't know how i resisted the pastor and she escaped from the pastor i told you that it's not everyone who's holding who's holding a suit and the bible is said with some they are wolves ke le pudicha gore a se mang le mang a para ni sukitse di botse a lokileng amen the wolves that are using the bible to set men ngibonga <laughs> And the Holy Spirit they even which the Holy Spirit said they are even which is those people. And I tried to describe those people. I didn't know that there were also people who came to the service who knew those people. Amen. So they started to attack me. They said, Man, you're, not, you're, you're, you're also one of those men of God who just attack people who just attack people. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the sister that I spoke to. She went to the people who was hosting the service. She said, are you sure he's a man of God? Because the people he's talking about are my friends. And I've been friends with them for many years. Amen. 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 So even the lady did not believe me. But when I prayed for him, that person that I described spoke in him and said even the reason why she's sick is because they want to kill me but the sister was not listening to those things because she was made just manifesting so she continued to doubt so one day the Holy Spirit decided to be merciful to her. When she went to visit those people, when they were busy sleeping, I think in the middle of the night, the lady made a call. She called me and she was speaking to other witches. Because they thought she was sleeping, she's not hearing them. And they said, he's here with us. Today she's going under the sea. Amen. Amen. They were exposing their plans. They didn't know she was listening or she was not sleeping. Amen. When she was coming to tell me the story. Yeah, story She was so afraid she didn't even want to talk to me. She just told another person to explain to me the situation. She was looking at me her eyes were big like as if she can't believe what is happening. You know that thing you can call it a testimony. But to me it's not a testimony. How can a woman that is praying every day, that is calling herself a woman of God, live with witches and not know? Amen. And she told me the story. Remember, 
Rotola, I am sending you. Carumela, it is missed of us. So don't just believe anyone. So I see you are following Mangle Mang. You need to see me. Amen. Especially in these days that, that we are living in the last days. Because deception is too much. There is so much deception that is happening. Amen. 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 Yes. Deceived even men of God. Satan One time God was telling me that the majority of these famous pastors they are already deceived by Satan. That is why some of them. They, 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 they serve mammon, but they act like they are serving the true God. That, that is why pastor will tell you that 1,000 for a miracle, 1,000 for a miracle. Because Satan was them. I will never go back anymore. Yes, sir. Can we just worship for a moment? When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. I am sending you. In the midst of wars, be wise, be wise, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 8, my Proverbs chapter 8, it's the wisdom was crying, wisdom, wisdom was crying, say so I seek the sons of men. And the even understanding was shouting for the sons of men. But the sons of men did not care. Wisdom kept crying. He said, it went to the streets. He said, come to my house so that I can give you life. But the sons of men did not pay attention to him. Can someone read it? Proverbs chapter 8, so that you can see that what I'm saying, I'm, uh, 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 I'm not starting things. We're going to read verse 1, only just verse 1. If you find it, you can read. As wisdom call out does not understanding, raise her voice. Read it again. Yeah, read it slow so that they can hear. Does not wisdom call out. Does, does not, not wisdom call out. Does not does not understanding raise her voice. Hallelujah. They are shouting for the sons of men. When will you really listen to us and obey us? Amen. Understanding spoke. He said, even when God was creating the earth, I was there to help him. He said, if he said, if you seek me, another thing he said, if you seek me diligently, you will find it. Amen. Hallelujah. Because some of you, you don't know the danger of the mission that God is sending you to. That's why you don't care about wisdom. You don't know how Isaiah's this praise God is sending you to. Because 
is not a fool. He knows what he's talking about. He knows that the place where he's standing in. Oh, you cannot stand. Remember the spirit of the Lord spoke last Sunday. For some of you, your colleagues, they are full of suffering. If you don't have that wisdom, Satan will deceive you. The Bible says, man of God. Paul, he was speaking, Jesus was speaking to Paul. He said, Paul, the calling that I have for you is for you to be my witness. And you shall suffer many things for my name's sake. Because for you, the only calling you know is Apostle and a Prophet. There is another calling. It's called, it's called the calling of sufferings. That God chooses for such assignment. Assignments that men of God they are free to go there. Go to Saint Paul. I read something that surprised me. I saw Peter and James, they were putting in Jerusalem. But the Jews was not trying to kill them. But the moment Paul stepped in Jerusalem, there was havoc in the whole of Jerusalem. Because they said he must die. He must die. It's a calling. It's a calling. It's a calling. It's not normal. It's not normal. It's not because Paul is a stupid person. But he said you will be like a sheep that will be running in the wolf's pack. Child of God, without discernment, yes, without discernment, you will be deceived. My sister was telling me says you are the that she went to one conference. Will I a conference? The pastor said, your husband is not your husband. I'm the one who's your husband. Divorce him. She said, I almost backslided. Because I knew God. But he is standing. Ah. When you meet this one, you got the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is why some of you today. You need to cry and say God. I remember one time I was praying and fasting. I was in Tembisa. I said, Lord, if you don't give me wisdom, don't send me. Don't send me. Don't send me without wisdom. And by that time I didn't know about the scripture. It was the Holy Spirit that was leading me to pray that prayer. 
Daoud un tisho go rapela thapelo e Haleluya Let's go. 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 Let's go.